Hello folks, today you are going to SM Noviliches. And right now we're on uh, Quirnero Highway, right next to the Jollibee. Brand new Jollibee that was built, I would say about two and a half to three years ago. It is now up and running. And of course the most popular fast food restaurant here in the Philippines. And we're gonna go into the mall and show you what exactly uh, it, it takes to get inside this mall. So stay tuned. And on the right side of the parking lot right there is cars that are, I believe, repossessed. Or maybe they changed it. Used to be. But maybe it's now just the parking lot. Anyway, here's Dunkin' Donuts. D&D. &D. And of course you have your Koya Guard. Making everything safe for all the pedestrians crossing from the street into the mall area. Mm -hmm. And when you walk into the mall, you will notice there is an entrance for females on one side and males on the other. All right, and here's a parking lot on the left. Now they put a cone up there if it is packed. And it looks like it might be open, but we're going to continue on. Use the other parking lot. There's multiple parking lots around this mall. This is like, you know, it's nearest to our place. Mm -hmm. And you can get all the basics that you need. Yeah, this, this mall has everything. Those that live in the area, you know, they come here not only to shop and spend their money, but to hang out in the nice, cool air con inside the mall because it's very hot outside here's their storage area the trucks come in the shipping and receiving area all right and the parking lot again another parking lot is on our left side which we're going to enter and the guards here on this side <laughs> they're goofing off having yeah. a good time but they're going to check out the undercarriage of the vehicle make sure there's no explosives any kind of bombs things like that and he's going to pop the trunk i believe Ah, oh, we missed him. That's okay. Yeah, on your right. There he is. He's checking everything out. Hello, Kuya. Hello, sir. Ah, Kuya. Kuya, check out his channel. Ah, trucking with Bud. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Very cool, dude. Yeah, very tough. But very happy, very professional, courteous, professional uniforms. You know, you, you tell the, the guards here, they tuck in their shirt, they look sharp, shiny shoes, very paramilitary, which is the way it should be no matter where you are in the world, I think, if you're going to enforce any kind of rules and regulations. You should always look presentable, professional. Uh, I believe to enter this, Parking lot is roughly what 40 peso? 50. 30 peso. Sorry, huh? And I'm giving you the shot from the car. So there's Ate, she's yeah. gonna take the, the fee. Thank you. It's so tight there. Make sure you keep your receipt so that way when you exit you don't have to repay. And of course when you when you lose this ticket, you need to present um I think your OR registration and also you're gonna pay for it. Before it was 150 peso oh, for wow. a lost ticket. So you hear that? If you lose your ticket, mm -hmm. you have to show them the registration of your personal vehicle and then you have to repay. And How much is it? Before it was 150, but now it's so small I can't read. But 30. Oh, 30 to, if you lose entering. it. Yeah, if you lose it, it's like 150 peso. Actually, 200. 200 peso. 200? If you lose this ticket, you gotta pay 200 peso to get out. So don't lose it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and shut off the camera for now and get out of this vehicle, then push record once we're out. We are out of the car. Now, when you come when you come to SM, make sure you have your, your bags, right? 
You can get plastic bags here, but I think they charge like 10 peso. How much is a plastic bag? On eco bag, it costs eco bag. about yeah, 10 peso for a small one. And then the big one, it's uh, 35. Okay. So about 10 for this bag here. Well, this bag is not from it's here. We, we got variant bag. <laughs> and uh, for the big ones, they're about, you said 20? 35. 35 peso. If you do not want to pay for any kind of uh, eco bags, then they, yeah, they place all your items in a in a brown box, all right. But it's secure. They make sure it's nice and wrapped. Just make sure you grab your eggs. All right. So we're entering SM. Here's the parking lot we just came from. As you can see, they have an altar station here, DHL. And if you feel like traveling the world, there you go. Now, as I was saying before, female and male entry, this side, it doesn't matter. Hello. Alright, so today's main objective is to go to the grocery store. We need groceries and I'll show you some prices, how they differ from the United States. Gwen saying how this this mall is smaller than the other SM malls, yeah. but I like this mall. Yeah, but they, Very they, clean. they also don't have the high-end brands. Uh -huh. But you know, if you're gonna just find the basic the things that you need, for example, this bench body, bench shirts, that's the basic, you know. Yeah, and bench body is actually yeah, a pretty good store. Yeah. Those of you who watch uh, Ali and and uh, what's okay. his name? <laughs> Oh my Padilla. goodness, it's, that's it's too good to be new. true. Anyway, good cash. we're sponsored by Bench and Body. They have very good discounts, very nice shirts. I'm thinking of his name now. Oh my. Ali and Eloy. 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 It's too good to be true. Alright, so we have a little place for the kitties to hang out, have a good time. I'm gonna guess five years old and younger. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> oh, so we're going. This place, Iceberg, has the best dessert. Really, really good. Yeah. Boom. We'll go in there real soon. We're gonna check out that place for you too. Shakey's. We always come here once in a while to order a pizza. And I believe if it's your birthday, you get a free pie. walk around this is the uh, the PlayStation for the kids the other entrance there's the beautiful blend I'm gonna check out Bombastic. Bombastic, they have a different showroom for their um, kind of unit that they have sales behind this building. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck, really. Yeah. Alright. So, SMDC showroom. Uh, they're building a large uh, property of condominiums right behind this SM mall and the SM DC showroom are the ones you want to go to uh, if you are looking to purchase you know a condo so maybe we'll drive through when we leave if we have time all right so we're gonna look at the Kumi Kumi's fantastic
to see what I can get. Hands up on the bopping boba. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out with Gwen. Looks like they're not here right now. Oh, there, there's one of them there. Hello, sir. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go check out Gwen, see if she got some money so we can go shopping real quick. Then we'll come back and maybe get a bombastic, maybe for Gabe. Anyways, you can see this mall is pretty clean. It's very nice. Nice, shiny floors, two story, very big mall. <laughs> the United States, everything's expensive. What is it? Grocery? Yeah, this is the grocery. Okay. We're not gonna go crazy today. Let's check out this Nissan real quick. I'm not a big Nissan fan, but it's a pretty sharp looking truck. All right, so for you Nissan fans, there you go. This vehicle here is a six cylinder, seven speed automatic, uh, as well as uh, they have a four by four, which is the highest uh, type of calibre that you would uh, see for this Nissan. So anyway, I'm not a, I'm not a car guy at all. You know, I like motorcycles. But hey, if you're interested in a Nissan, this is a pretty sharp looking car, sharp looking truck. Uh, and that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. You know, not a lot of information, but I tell you what, I will put in the salesman's information on this channel uh, in the description. So that way you can contact him if you're interested in the uh, SM Novilicious area. SM Supermarket. This is where we get our groceries. And of course they have the best Tyrone. 25 peso. Very delicious masara. Say hello, Ate. All right, thank you. All right, we're gonna check out the store. We're gonna go shopping. Now I gotta find Gwen. Say hi to Ate. Huh? Hello, Ate. Hi. Can you wave Ate? Wave hello. <laughs> She's busy. Very efficient. Yeah, they're very professional. Know, right? All right, so here we are in the electronics area. I'm to get some for I'm going to look out a white shirt. You know what's really cool is that sometimes right over in this area, there'll be a uh, employee singing karaoke. All right. Now here's some inexpensive clothing that they have here. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, P. Ocean Pacific. You don't see that often. Anyway, Gwen's over there by the clothes. 
And again, here are your electronics. You have your aircon. Hey, hello. Just checking out your place. Beautiful place. So clean, you know. But they do have inexpensive clothing. Let's see if we can find a price. So for a basic tank top, it's nothing big, right? But look, it's 149 peso. It's good for something quick if you wanted to buy. And there's the entrance that we had come in from. We have a local pharmacy. And over in this area is the food court. You have everything from noodles, uh, soup, you know, you have chicken. I think you have milk teas over here. So, really anything you want. So we're still in the electronics area. The karaoke machines. One of the most popular activities to do here in the Philippines is to sing karaoke. And yes, I've done it. I've broken, Gwen had me break the ice. I'm usually very shy. I'm shy in general. And I sang at our house, you know, we're singing at the house and now it's an every weekend event. Huh? All right, I'm gonna walk. more furniture over in the corner. One and a half liter. 58.95. So what are we looking for in this aisle? Juice for the kids? For Gabe, yeah. Just an orange. Though we don't buy much of that. So 10 pack, Minute Maid, fresh. 89.50. All right. Next item. Hmm. We're gonna follow Gwen. Hello. So how much is it to be a dollar? For a 1.5. All right. So we have your Coke Zero. Which is very good when you're drinking Jim Beam. <laughs> Not that I do that, but it's very tasty, I'm sure. <laughs> One and a half liters, 64 peso. If you were to go to a Sorry Sorry store, it might cost a little bit more, but it's a convenience that you are, uh, you're paying for as well. So there's no complaint there. Because sometimes you're at the house and you just want to walk across the street real quick and grab yourself a Coke Zero. So it's a little more expensive, but not by much. These are snacks. Garlic. So, you know, in America we call it, you know, I guess snacks or junk food actually. <laughs> yeah, we call it junk food, but you know, it's the same thing. Junk food is good, especially when you're late at night, watching a movie, maybe having a drink. But, you know, I've noticed in the Philippines they primarily call it snacks. Maybe it's just me, I just never called it snacks, you know, growing up. I always called it junk food. But I love junk food, so. And here are some of your snacks. <laughs> you know what's the best? Let me see if I can find it. Oh no, it's on the other side, isn't it? The salted egg um, shrimp crackers. Yeah. We'll have to get that later. And we're gonna follow the beautiful Gwen. She's walking through the store. There's a shot. All the way at the other side is where you get your fish, vegetables. It's a pretty big store. They keep it up very nice and neat. There's one thing that's a, uh, I'm not a complainer, but there's one thing I have to complain about, and that's the grocery carts. 
The grocery cart's here. Here, I'll show you. When you're traveling, when you're pushing this cart, if you let it go straight, man, it's got a mind <laughs> of its own. It does not go straight. Look at this. And it's not because there's a wheel that's malfunctioned, it's just because that's the way it is. Look, you can travel this way. You know, it's crazy. You don't see that in the States. Look at this. I'm freestyling. Man, your that's just amazing. All right. There's your no sauce. Oh, today. yes, this is my favorite. That is my is that? favorite, boy. Yeah. Oh, Oishi, prawn crackers. It's got the salted egg. Yeah. But they, we have a much expensive brand, but it's too much for sauce. Well, how much is this one? <laughs> Less than 30 pesos. Oh, that means we'll get two. They are really, really good. Oh my, why? Are we really vlogging them? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna record it. It's on the record. Same can, 94 peso, in America. I don't buy this in America, so I really don't know. I mean, maybe I'm guessing three dollars in America. Three? Yeah, two fifty or something. I don't know. Oh, you're, you're overpriced. Yeah, it's overpriced for sure. So hey, whoever's listening to this and you know the price for sure, hey, write it in the comments. Here's some Cheetos. Oh, yeah, Inexpensive. I mean, really good price. I know in the states for sure this is about. Maybe five dollars. I think so. Again, I don't buy it that often, but when I did, yeah. Get one for Gavin then. We'll get Gabe some cheese puffs. Right. Nice and fresh. Okay. Oh, sweetheart, the snack is here. Cheetos is here, babe. 179. Oh, I'm sorry. 179 for the Cheetos. 179. So what was 109? Ripple sour. That's not it either. Hmm, maybe they, they ran out. No big deal. Oh, hello. So we were approached by Kuya Guard, who advised us that we could not record anymore. So at that point, we went ahead and shut off the camera. So that wraps it up for our shopping debut. <laughs> uh, during the course of our shopping, we were told by the Koya Guard to, to stop recording. It's against the rules. We didn't know that. There's no signs posted. But of course, we obliged and uh, we turned it off. Anyway, we just said hello to one of the old friends, EJ, uh, from the gym. And you'll see a picture of that man. He looks definitely in shape. So nice to meet you, EJ. I'm looking forward to uh, communicating with you in the near future, all right?
And one last shot of SM.